Hey guys, this is Josh here, and today I will be bringing you my final review of 2013, and that will be the DC Collectibles New 52 Swamp Thing action figure. Now let's take a look at this bad boy. And he looks fantastic. As you can already see, look at the detail. He has the the amount of detail on this guy is like like makes me speechless. This is like the best detailing I've seen so far for the new 52 line from DC Collectibles. As we go down, you can see he's got his shin pads made of like tree bark and that. You can see the painted toenails. See get some light down there. You can see the detailing in the feet. Alright, let's back up. One thing I it kind of stands out is I wish they would have detailed the like the ball socket here a little bit more, or could have hit it better. Cause I don't know, looks kind of eh, but that's just a minor nitpick. You can see his chest there. You can see like the bark and like the green, like it looks almost like moss coming out of the bark, and you can see all the black washes. You can see his face. What I really like is, look at his eyes. Now, it appears to me, I don't know, it could just be my opinion, but it looks like it's like a translucent red plastic. But uh, it could just be metallic red paint, but it looks like a translucent translucent plastic for his eyes. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. Let's see his arms. He's got this big... Uh, tree bark weapon here looks very killer you can imagine him hitting you with it damn <laughs> this army has got his his tree trunk shield or whatever here looks crazy see the branches coming out from his arms there what not he's got some more branches coming out from this forearm it's very very cool. Let's take a look at the wings. Even the wings have like tons of detail in them. Big, big grassy moss wings here. Like branches coming out. Just lots of nice sculpted detail. Nice paint job. Looks very cool. And they're pretty big too. Like look at the size of those bad boys. Like those are some pretty big wings. Let's turn this guy around. There we go. Take a look at the back. See the back of his head. Those big like tree tree branches coming out from his like head, like a helmet. They kind of look like deer antlers to me though. I'm not particularly fond of that uh, helmet he's got, but it's all right. See the back of his wing, nicely detailed. See on the back of his leg, he's even got a flower on the back of his. I guess was that calf muscle. Like very very nice. Everything feels very nice too. Another, I guess, little complaint or nitpick. It would be a. I really do. I really don't like those hinges. Like the wing hinges, it really bothers me, but eh, whatever. All right, so let's take a look at this guy's articulation as I fiddle with my light here. Just hang on a second, guys. Okay, articulation. He's got a ball jointed head, so his head can go up and down, side to side, and it even can rock. So he's got good movement. He's got a ball socket shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel, he's got a hinged uh, hinged elbow, and he's got a wrist swivel. Now, uh, these pieces right here, like the, I'm not going to take it out, but these come uh, detached in the package, like this big uh, bark sword and this big like stump shield or whatever. Those come detached in the box, uh, and he has, has these uh, little branches 
stuck in uh, stuck in his arms. What you do to put the shield and the sword on, you just unpeg these. They're pegged in with like these square pegs, and they come out very easily. They're not tight or anything. They fit very securely, but they're not loose or tight. And uh, so he comes with these. So you remove these, and then the the sword and the shield have the exact same peg. So you just peg them on in. So uh, it's pretty simple. So if you don't like the whole sword and shield look, you can always just have the regular arm look. As we, as I randomly point at his crotch for some reason. But uh, yeah. So that was his arms and his head. Down here he has a ball socket or whatever at the leg or hip. Yeah, ball socket hip. My bad. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees, which is a pretty awesome bonus. He's got a knee swivel, which I don't really care for because uh, since he's got the thigh swivel, why do you need a knee swivel? Um, and uh, he's got like I don't know these this weird. Let's see if I could turn him so you can get a better look. He's got weird ankle articulation. Instead of having like a hinge, like a ball joint up here, he's got it like at the front part of his foot. So it's like a it's like a separate ball socket kind of or ball joint right here at the front of his foot. So it goes up and down, and it even has a rock side to side. But uh, he stands pr he stands uh he's pretty stable. It's not like it's weak or anything. So uh, let's turn this guy around and take a look at the articulation on his back. Now the wings. They have these hinges so they can hinge in and out and they can also turn at his back because it's like a socket or like a like yeah like a swivel socket right there so good movement and uh yeah that's the articulation on this guy he's if you're not a fan of swamp thing uh i would recommend picking up this figure anyways because uh just the detail and the sculpt of this guy is awesome. And if you're a fan of Swamp Thing, I definitely recommend this figure. Like, this is a pretty badass Swamp Thing. <laughs> and, uh, he'll run you about 50 bucks. He's a deluxe figure. In my opinion, he's worth it. He looks great. And, uh, yeah. So I'll probably give him, I don't know, for, like, detail and sculpting, a 10 out of 10. But, like, overall figure, since... I'm not a big Swamp Thing fan uh, or nothing like that. I'll probably give him a good 9 out of 10. He's a fantastic figure, guys. This is my last review of 2013. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully in the next couple days I'll have my uh, final collection video for this year. And I'll probably be doing a top 10 list. And I wonder if this guy will be in my top 10 figure list. You'll have to find out. Okay, guys. I guess I'll catch you later. Okay, guys, take care.